Hi again. In this video, we are going to talk about how to enhance data presentation on formatted chairs and tables. Firstly, we will be selecting our sample dimensions and measures. Here, quarter and state and sales revenue and the margin measures. And before running query, I want to explain the query properties tab. In the query property, properties, we can set limits on the number of rows retrieved from the database. We can also set preferences concerning data retrieved data and prompt processing order, query security, or end contexts. And now let's run the query. As you seen that the report has been created automatically on the report body and all of the objects you selected in the query appear on the available objects side panel. Now let's customize the report. We can also uh, add or remove any of columns from the report body. For example, I can remove margin and state and aggregated my report on the high level and I can also resize the columns and by using the format subtype I can change my header font type the text color, background and also the font type. And I'm able to create a new chart by dragging and dropping uh, any chart layout from the uh, report element subtype. And these are the chart templates that you could easily use. For example, when the cursor changes the 2 plus sign, click on the report where you want to position your chart. And select the state and the sales revenue and drag these objects and insert into the, the graphic body and I can also resize the graphic template and I can also change the graphic format for example when I right click from the format chart I can make some changes I can change the title of the graphic and show the data values on label and more effective visual. Glossy effect and uh, real lighting and OK. And I can also create a new chart by turning a vertical tab into a new chart type. For example, when I select quarter and the uh, year quarter and the margin. By using this chart, I can turn a vertical tab into a new chart type. When I convert a table from one format to another, 
All the data from the original table is included in the converted tab. However, sometimes uh, we need to remove some data from the original table to make new format work effectively. In this case, with the assigned data, I will remove the quarter. And I can also format chart. change the title, make visible, margin by year, show the data values and select the 3D look. And we can also align the tables to each other. You can use the relative position, the relative position feature to align the table in relation edge of the report and the other below. This feature allows users to fix the position of the table even if the data uh, in the table changes and also adjust the table position when the block data and another block data changes. and align data to the right edge of the block one and type the one centimeter okay and also align the pie chart right edge block one and one centimeter As you see in that, when I change the position of the this chart, the vertical chart and the other chart's position has automatically changes. You can also insert an image file into the, your report body by using report header or a freestanding cell and you can import the sample image file when I click the format header select the appearance image from the file and select the SAP logo and OK Yes, we have inserted the SAP logo into our report body. And I can also change the report title. And with the format tab, I can align it. And you can see that the cell now contains the text you have entered. And also with adding one of these freestanding cell, you can also use the predefined uh, functions. For example, when inserting the last refresh date and format it, change the font type when you refresh your document and it will also change and show the last refresh date and to clarify I can add a new blank cell and make it clarify and type
last refresh date and change the font size And with changing the, the report page, you can see that the uh, final appearance of the, your document when you export any of the uh, different file type. And now I can export my document to my desktop with one of these types. And I will select the PDF and train documents folder and enter a name says says and save it and I can also leave my result documents now you have a professional document weave. Thank you for listening.